Welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. Hope you're having a chilled out day. I noticed that you can offer up your remembrances to this guy. And uh, we can offer up the Peter one. Um, and this one says, investigate the stigma left at the last known location of the Congregator of Flesh. So let's head back to that boss arena and see if we can we can identify what they are speaking about there. And maybe we'll, we'll offer up both remembrances. Because it doesn't seem like... Um, here you can you can really do anything else with the remembrances at least not for now um usually with you know souls souls games you either eat them for souls or you get a weapon out of them and here it just seems you can only get a weapon out of them so it should be up this way we still haven't found a way up to that upper area Oh, it's blocked off now. Um, because as we as as we spoke about, there is an item there, so we can definitely get there. Oh, here. Come to all is my child. Yes, hands in my embrace. Oh, may your flesh sustain my divinity. Bless you. <laughs> huh. So did he become the congregator of flesh? After eating all of them? Just over and over. Uh, so we have the remembrance, which means that we can now go and, and turn those in. Let's see what we can get here. I'm interested to know what, you know, what it it's definitely like like boss weapons or equipment or something. Let's see. I'm liking this new look. <laughs> it looks so badass. The, the 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 fashion in this game is just so cool. There's something really unique about it. Um, you have these massive helmets with spikes and, and everything just looks so tattered and and torn. It's a really cool aesthetic. Okay. As the young Peter's powers blossomed even more brilliantly than the hallowed sentinels expected, they shared with her the tale of her miraculous origin, being born of a human mother impregnated with holy light bestowed by Aureus himself, hence her extraordinary nature. Ooh. Yeah, definitely radiant stuff, but that is awesome. Like, you get her sword, a radiant sword. Um, we have 32 scouring. I don't know about her armor. Like, I know it's blood soaked, so it looks cool. But I don't think this really fits into our build, right? Um, okay, so an umbral spell. Unleash a shower of rotted, rotting body parts in assorted fluids. The umbral stuff sounds so cool. Um, and we get a spear as well, strength and radiance. A spear once carried by Saint Latimer of the Hallowed Sentinels, a revered relic following his death until its eventual disappearance. So both things that are not part of our build plummeted towards the pit from which he would never emerge. The preacher who claimed to be Aureus made flesh forgave made flesh forgave the hallowed sentinels for their misguided actions against him and his followers. Huh. Chosen bearer of the lamp. We can get um a respect item as well, which is interesting. And the Pilgrim's Perch key can be bought from this guy over here for like 18,000. So we're not going to get that anytime soon. That's a bit steep for, for right now. But I expect that it's going to be... Mm, do we want to do the seedling? Let's go to Fen and um, check out those lake areas first. And then we'll do the seedling and, and make our progression. can stop that. Uh, 
Um, I'm actually thinking about it now, and I think the, the seedling might be the quicker way to those lake areas. Can I just run? We still haven't figured out what we need to do to free that lady. Because she says we need to remove her accessory. So it this way. Oh, yeah, you yeah, now. Again. If having your eyes open to the Umbral Realm hasn't driven you mad yet, then maybe you'll endure. Just a moment, big guy. Here you are again. Hasn't driven you mad. Although you never really get used to it. You just... Learn to balance on the edge and ignore the whispers telling you to jump. I'm only noticing now that his his fingers I have talons of them. Once, a long time ago. I made a mistake, but now I'm going to put it right. Can you guys stop? Thank you. I came to more I made a mistake. I came to I made a mistake. Okay, so you just talk shit to me. I wonder if you have to speak to him to progress some kind of quest or something. I'm just remembering now that there's also that upper area that we haven't fully explored. Why did that do zero damage? I think it hit the stick. Okay, so I think this is all kind of uncharted. Oh, yeah, no! I don't know why the camera turned like that. That was kind of bullshit. Oh my god, come on. It wasn't even rolling. Damn poisonous guys. Okay, so this is going to take me to the top. So I'm guessing we're going to drop down one of those ladders. There it is. Not really a shortcut though. Okay. Now where the hell are we? Oh my god! We just walked into a boss fight. Um, okay, attacking from the front isn't advisable. I think he's doing wither, wither damage. Still doesn't do much. Okay, I got it. We have to soul flay that whatever's inside. Makes sense. Is this a maggot? I s d d do his spells now have maggots? I really don't know if we should use the seed link here because then we'll have to run all the way over to that other side.
Get out of my way. I wonder if we can just run. We do have to be an umbrella though. Not there. Not there. The hell is that ladder? The ladder is this way. Got down. I was hoping to get some of that with it out of track. Um, where is it? Here. How do I get there? Up here? Oh, it's right next to... okay. I see now. It's right next to the other, the other doorway. Just trying to find my bearings, really. Okay, let's see here. Um, what is that doing? opening up that other area. Okay, but I'm not really doing much damage here. I don't have a soul play charge. What do I do here? Ow. Trying to get a soul play charge here is quite difficult. I think I'm gonna have to come back to this. Maybe I need to get these. Open up. What's up here? Is there some way to weaken him? Because he's way too strong for me right now. Um, that leaves the boss arena. Let me get my withered health back. What is up here? Huh. I thought this would open something up <laughs> for us to be able to figure out what to do. Okay, we're back at full health though, which is good. Come on down. I'm not doing this bullshit. I think I can soul flame twice to get a critical, but 
it barely does any damage here. Yeah, that damage is ridiculous. That did a chunk. Okay, this this actually might work. It, it's it seems so stupid, but it might work. Oh shit. Yeah, maggots. Can I? Can I do this? No. Because it would be nice to get another another knockdown. But I'm gonna need another soul flay charge for that. This is such an uh, such an odd boss. I don't know if if I'm even supposed to be doing this. Ow. Oh damn. That's not good. If we if if I figure this out before using all of my damn psychonerics, we might have had a shot here. This is very odd, I know. Okay, so that doesn't do any regular damage. Why am I not healing my wither damage? Damn. Yeah, I figured. It's definitely possible if we just... If we just mess with him. I don't know though. I, I really don't understand what the hell is going on here. Seems like they might expect me to come back later. Um, let's see here, do we have... Yeah, because I think we, we have an, um, an upgrade for our weapon. Yeah. Uh, so let's just head back to, to Skyrus real quick. We'll upgrade the weapon. I think we picked up a Sanguinarix as well. We probably should have used that when we were checking out the, the Remembrances, but... Oh. She wasn't here a, a second ago, right? Our holy work Did I imagine that? Bed. Fellow sanctified vessel. May Aureus's divine radiance flow through me and into you. So now we have five heals, which is gonna help. We can upgrade our weapon a little bit. Now we need two there. So it's just one and two. 
and the low level ones were, were two and four which is weird um fen we want to do fen see we could we could make a seedling right outside the boss We have to head up soon as well. We didn't finish exploring that that area. Um, this way, all the way to the end, and up the ladder. So not too bad once we know the the path. Damn, lock on. I really don't want to leave my figure here. Getting back our bigger, our bigger, um, I mean, our health, our wither health. It's gonna help. I don't know, I don't know. The the damn um, critical attacks don't really do much damage to him. That's why I don't know if, if soul flaying is even worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just bouncing off. Let's get at least one charge so when he does open up, we can knock him down and probably get free damage. Mendacious Passage. Such an odd boss. Should we even be doing the critical? Feels like it might be more worth it not to do it.
I'm not really getting back my wither health from hitting him. I don't know, man. Maybe we should just come back to this because this is, this is so weird. Because my attacks bounce off of him. Uh, so we can't really use physical attacks. But do I have an item to return to the Versage? I don't want to sacrifice Vigor though. Do I now just have to let go of all of that Vigor? Damn it. That sucks. Uh, let's just run up. Um, we won't fight him again. Like whatever, that that figure we can we can say goodbye to it. It's fine. I really don't think that I'm supposed to fight this guy right now. It's doable, but you have to like kind of cheese it, which which doesn't make sense. They wouldn't make a boss that uh, you have to cheese in order to defeat. So we know he's there. We'll go after him soon. But right now, let's check out the rest of that lake area. Oh wow, you're not dead. Ooh. This one goes up. There was another path here. Yeah, this is the other lake. Cut down. Are you just an item? Yes. Vendure. Damn it. Yeah, it's just that these things are weak, uh, are strong against fire. That's that's the only reason they they are problematic. Don't mind about revenge. I believe we get those uh, those items for it. Which I don't think the items are really important. <laughs> Looks like you can get some gear and stuff with it, but nothing too major. God damn it. How many of these things are there? We have an enemy that way. Uh, 
Are you serious? This Where in the hell are we now? Okay, hold on. Are we now back to where we started? Yes, we are. Because you go this way. Okay, I know exactly where we are. Yeah. You go this way and you back to that main area, closer to where we planted the seed in. So it's just another way to get to the same place. And I think it was just for that ring, the Vendio ring. Um, seedling. Our seedling is over this and then this way. Okay, um, that's actually very convenient. Just have to get over this. Cool. Interesting how it all kind of loops back. Let's check out that ring. Resistance of poison. I'm guessing that's gonna be. more than what we get from here. Here we are, 448 in poison. 598. Okay, so 150 more. Okay, so I guess this is a good time to see what's, what's beyond this area. Uh, I think we have an item where we can level up. I need like 11 vigor. <laughs> Damn it. Just kill one guy. It looks like that uh, little icon next to our vigor glows when we can level up purple part of it. Let's just get a little bit of mana back. I think the leveling up actually gave us that mana. Either way, let's see what's down here. Oh, this is the first beacon. Huh. Some kind of tree guy. Well, there's a lot of roots, so he's definitely going to be weak to fire. Oh my god, he's riding a horse. The harsh saint. Okay. Oh my god, I do like no damage. Damn it. 
Oh. He's really advancing with those attacks. Is he getting back on his horse? Yes, he is. Why is his health grayed out? Can I not attack him while he's on the horse? Shit. Okay, it's gonna take it's gonna take a while to understand what he's doing. Yeah, I do I do no damage while he's on his horse. So you just have to kinda evade until So that's a grab attack. Damn it. Would have been a perfect parry too. Oh, okay. This is gonna be tough. I've barely done any damage here. Oh, I see. There's a thing here. There are things here all over. I wonder what those are for. Do I have to remove all of them? Is that what's going on here? This is gonna be tough though. can beckon all of these people. I think we're fine for now. Um, there's definitely something I have to do here. I think those cause explosions that maybe you can... Uh, Maybe you can get him while he's on his horse. Damn it. Keep on messing those. That explosion after is... How am I supposed to be doing this this little damage? It doesn't make sense. I ah. Uh. <laughs> He has so many different attacks. It's hard to keep up. It kind of it kind of did something to his arm there. So I wonder if you have to explode those things to to get his health down a little bit. Let's try this again. I, I think maybe... Uh, we can kind of see see them. I, I do want the revive from... Um, being in Axiom. Wow, good hitbox. Okay, yeah. Being in Umbro will help to see all of this. Oh no, his arm is always like that.
so it wasn't exploding the thing that did it. My parries are terrible. Keep forgetting about that. I need to get him on the horse. Exploding the stuff did make him weaker though. My attacks are doing so much more damage. This fucking clown. Come on. Yeah. It takes too long. I'm gonna have to do it preemptively. It was right there. I don't know why. I couldn't get it. Like it's right here, it didn't it didn't work though. I should I should try this out in Umbro, like do the testing in Umbro instead of this. That last hit, man. There aren't any left. <laughs> oh, they, they're more to the center. <laughs> okay. Damn it. At least now we're in Umbro, we can test it out. Why didn't it work? My lamp just wasn't working there. Oh, he's done. Damn it. Let me do the entire test in Umbro. I think that's going to be a better way to, to, to do this. Ooh. Definitely a gimmick here because there's no way I'm going to have to take his health down with how slowly it goes down. And there aren't many other routes to take at this point. So like this is, this is where we have to go. Did it work? I'm guessing the shield bashes are unparryable. He's still, he's still not taking much damage, I mean... What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, this is rough. Um... Wow. It's unrealistic, it's unrealistic to, to be expected to fight him like this, like normally. So, I don't know what the, what the thing is here, but 
that's definitely definitely not what you have to do all right let's just let's just keep trying to learn this I don't miss that pattern. What the hell? Okay, I got him, but it didn't do anything. What? What is that? Damn, this fight is such bullshit. Man. So, like looking at it, those, those, those things that explode that you can, can use the lamp on, they don't seem to do anything. Like I'm definitely getting them. It doesn't do any damage. The, when he's on his horse, he just, he gets down for like a split second and then he's done. Should I just stay away from him and, and throw fireballs? Oh no, he's just gonna throw that thing. I mean, I'm not doing very much damage here. Okay, so it does knock him off. Bullshit. I know I evaded there. Why is he throwing two when I'm hitting the button once? It's uh, intricate, precise fights like this do not work in this game. I 
I know for a fact I was hitting the button once and then evading, but he was throwing two fireballs. That was what was getting me hit. It's so it's so odd. Um, I don't know what what I'm expected to do here. So yeah, this is rough. Um, yeah, there is the upper path that we can take. Because there's no, there's no way that, that we can do this right now. I have a feeling we have to take that upper path. And then... Maybe get other upgrade materials. Maybe there's another area, get stronger. Up here. But the thing is, these guys are scaled even higher than the than below. Which means that if we do find an area it's gonna be it's gonna be a higher level than what we are now. And what we've been doing. <laughs> Missing my damn parries. Damn it. This whole episode is a disaster. I think we've gotten to a point now where... Where we've kind of met, met our match in every... But I mean, like... Like this doesn't make sense. Because this is... This is too much of health. There was uh, an upward way to go. Trying to get back there really fast. Down there is another ladder. Can't I can't remember where it takes us. Right, and it's this. Where does this ladder take us? To that vestige, okay. What's the point of this? Harmony hoop. Um, what is it? Harmony hoop. Oh, yeah. After each spell cast, further spells temporarily deal increased damage. Casting spells from different magic schools further amplifies this effect. Let's equip that rather than this. Smaller equip load. We we kind of going for medium to heavy armor here. But there is this upward path. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but basic archer takes three hits like that. I'm doubtful about where we're gonna end up. Another one of these, damn. Um, that's supposed to opening him up for a critical. Ow. He is resistant to my damage, which is one positive thing here. Which means that we aren't we aren't doing extremely lower damage here huh? rush missile sword oh this is just back oh okay huh so this isn't even a, a way to go this is just the other side of where we f uh, fell down and, and fought the congregator of flesh Well, I guess if we have to fight one of those two bosses, I mean, that's the only way to go forward here. That's basically it. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll kind of reassess and we'll come back and in the next episode we will uh, take down either the Harsh Saint or whoever the other person was. That, that visage creature Captain! Ah! You want this luck, you rogue bastard? Come on and take it! Ah! Hmm. They are weirdly scaled up here. Anyway, thank you so much for joining and in the next one we are definitely going to be taking down one of those bosses. So we'll have to figure out exactly how we're going to do this. I mean, the Visage one is easy to cheese. So maybe we'll do that. Because uh, we can't really attack him with our weapon. So cheesing is the only way that I can see that we have to do it. Um, but the Heart Saint, I don't know. I, we can't even get him past like a quarter of his health. So that's going to be an, an issue. But yeah, thanks again for stopping by. In the next one, we'll probably take one of them down. Um, stick around until then, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.